So for starters, <clears throat> uh, let me apologize. I just realized it's been six months since I last filmed something for this channel. And uh, I hope you don't think I've just been sitting around doing nothing. I have been busy and um, regardless, the intention was to make more videos. And so here we are. Um, I'm away right now. I'm in Barcelona. And right before I left, I was giving a week of, a week of classes uh, speaking about the concept of accompaniment. My teacher, Joan Ravinsky, who passed away last year, um, spoke often about accompaniment. And it is a concept that means a lot to me. It really resonated with me when she first started to speak about it years ago. And I think one of the reasons it resonates with me is because I feel that my worldview is, is one where I believe that we are stronger together. And accompaniment is all about being together. It's about being in each other's lives. It is about interacting with each other, supporting each other, uh, relying on each other, and conversely, being present for others to rely on us and uh, being able to support them. Now, the Ashtanga yoga system isn't huge on accompaniment. It is very big on withdrawal. It's very big on um, withdrawal of the senses, withdrawal of the person. Um, in order to connect to anything bigger than us, and that has never resonated with me at all. Uh, more of a tantric approach to life, um, Kashmir Shaivism, that kind of thing, where if you want to know God, know people, because we are the embodiment of the energy that is equated with God, or whatever you want to call it, whatever source energy animates all things. And so... Accompany, accompaniment, rather, is, is important for me, and it's something that I have written about, and it's something that I've spoken about before. Um, but last week, it really sort of arose within my sphere of awareness. I was walking to a class that I was teaching, and I was walking down the street um, and saw a woman walking towards me with a seeing eye dog, so a visually impaired woman, and um, already that sort of attacks my heart. It makes my heart squeeze when I see that. Um, just because I love dogs and what is there more beautiful in the world than to see a dog act as a sense for someone who has that sense deprived for whatever reason. So I see them walking towards me and I thought, you know, God, that's just insanely beautiful. And as I passed them, she was speaking to the dog. She was talking about what they were gonna do and where they were gonna go. And my heart exploded into a, a million more little pieces um, because it, it hit me that this dog and this woman are each other's um, partners in life. They accompany each other. They are there for each other. And accompaniment doesn't necessarily need to look like you know one person with one person. Those of us who have pets understand that we accompany those pets and those pets accompany us in so many ways that are barely explainable to people who don't have pets or animals. Anyway, that woman and her dog really landed with me and stayed with me and motivated me to speak to classes and students who weren't in classes about the concept of accompaniment, about, about raising our awareness to be aware um, that we are accompanying others throughout their lives and that they are accompanying us. And there really is very little that's more important than not only being aware of it, but honoring it, honoring the people who accompany us, honoring the people who accompany you, understanding that you accompany people and that occasionally they will need you more than you will want to give in any given moment. And it's important to understand your role as their support as the person who walks by their side through their lifetime, maybe not through all moments, but through certain ones. And ultimately to understand that without each other, we're nothing. We're social beings, we need each other, we thrive on collaboration, we thrive on cooperation. And so I just wanted to talk about it now and send it out 
and have you consider who you accompany and who accompanies you and maybe motivate you to reach out and let them know. Cheers.